Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dikshit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I'll give you a walkthrough of another retire machine of Hack the Box. The name of the machine is Paper and in this machine I'll try to cover all the steps like it's an easy machine so I'll try to cover a simple steps to get it compromise this machine. Our write up is of I think hardly of 15 pages and it's a very easy machine using a uh, little bit techniques just to get it solid. So now let me go to my system now to get it solved this machine. So before proceeding further in this video, <coughs> so first of all, I'll show you my technical blog. This is my technical blog uh, where you can get all the write-ups, whatever the write-ups I've published it so far. So out of that, almost 195 write-ups I've published it so far belongs to hack the box, pen testing, other things you can get it very easily. You can go through all the categories. And this is my technical channel where you can see all the walkthrough which I have created in a video format you can able to see over here itself okay so that's all about the introduction part now we'll uh, we'll try to solve the machine today is a paper which is going to be getting retired so it's an easy machine so let me start with the nmap command first I'll try to get it uh, understand the services running on the target machine so let me run that and wait for the output so over here we can see the output so port 22 is enabled port 80 and 443 is enabled okay that's one of the thing i can say that on a target machine so it's look like it's a linux machine okay so now what's the next step for it we'll try to get it accessed directly on our browser so let me open the browser open the burp suit also once we open the burp suit and uh, simultaneously let me close all other tabs which I don't require it right now okay so now we'll try to get it access the same thing on our browser even we have enabled the burp suit proxy okay so let me trigger it I'll trigger it send it to my repeater and send it so over here itself we can see one thing which looks like different okay so server details we can get it very easily that's okay and x backend server also we are getting it so this is the thing which we have to put our host entry from our side so what we have to do we'll just go to the terminal once again and we'll give the host entry okay I have already did it from my side so this is the host entry just forget about this one right now okay you just have to done the host entry from your side for the same thing once you're done with that we'll simply have to uh, I think I have to release the proxy okay perfect now this will be open for you now what will happen um, it's okay like your WordPress itself so it's better for us to run the WordPress once WB scan just to enumerate the details about it and it may be a thing like couple of things we can able to identify with that way so let me try to trigger it WP scan for the target and enumerate it we'll just wait for the output So as you can see couple of details over here itself okay header wordpress okay and main thing wordpress version you can able to identify over here it's 5.2.3 okay so this looks like a one devil version okay so there is a known exploit is ever in a market for the same thing let me try to get it open this for you so this one i'm talking about right now so this is a known Expert is available unvalidated view private and draft post okay this one is available over here and this is the proof of concept so we'll simply copy over here paste it this okay uh, instead of this we'll simply have to put our host name so what we have to do I'll simply copy this and paste it over here so this is a default template for it and we'll just customize as per our need uh, we'll put this and click on enter we can able to see the content of it okay so a lot of things you can see over here itself okay so which there is one other thing which we are looking for it this one okay so i'll simply have to copy this over here and paste it on my chat try to get it access that what actually the thing we can get it out of it okay before proceeding further make sure you have to put this entry so i did it already on my system so there is no need for me to do that once again so I'll have, I have already did it on my system itself. You have to do it first so that you can able to access this. Okay, once you click on it, 
I'm not sure I have logged out or not. I have not logged out. So uh, let me log out it first. I'm not sure. Okay, log out. Okay, so instead of that, once again, let me try to access this one. So I have already registered it earlier. That was the reason when I tried to approach for it, uh, it's automatically giving me that login page. Okay. So now we'll just on the register page. Now what we have to do, we'll do the registration with our name itself. Okay. Test one is one of the name. I'll just give it from my side. Now any password you can give it and get it register. Okay. So over here itself, that's perfect. Not a big deal. We'll just wait for a minute and we'll just get a pop up over here. Okay, we'll just wait for it. it should be get it in a minute or in few seconds. Just try to refresh it. Let it be. Okay, I got it. So this message you can get it very easily and you simply have to go to upward okay and you can see like a couple of things over here itself but what we are looking for it is a recyclops it's a bot over here okay so as we can't put anything from our side it's a read only only so that was the reason we will try to approach a bot to communicate with a bot directly okay so let me try to approach for a bot direct message okay and now a magic we have to do it over here we'll try to put our things which we want to get it uh, a content out of it so we'll just run this try to get it execute and fetch out the output which we're looking for it we'll just pass this and we can get the output from the bot side okay over here you can see this is the username and other things you can get it now what's the next thing uh, there is one of the file which is we required to be get it access and that's dot env okay once we run with that we can able to get the credential over here okay but over here the catch is we are using this credential not for this one user we are using it for the d width okay this user so what we'll do we'll just go to the browser once again i'll just go to the browser and uh, sorry go to the terminal once again and i'll try to put this one over here directly a command okay let me try to put that password which we are getting it once we put the password over here we are inside of it and i can able to read the content of user.txt this is our initial phase of it now what i'll do for the previous creation let me try whether anything i can get it Oh no, no, it's looking for the password. It's looking for the password and I have that password. Let me try. Okay, no, it will not allow you to as it's not a pseudo part. Okay, so what we have to do, we'll simply have to go to the temp folder. Uh, bad luck. So you don't have that uh, Linpees file over here. So what we have to do, I'll just go to this section and let me start the python 3 okay once you start with that go back to this section i'll try to get it download the linpees okay so let me try to download that instead of downloading it i'll directly execute this so using this command curl we'll simply have to import that file and get it executed so that we can get the output directly on our target machine so once we run with that, we'll just wait for the output for a minute and then we'll get the output appropriately, which we're looking for it. Initially, a couple of things we can get it. So now as per the results, we can get a lot of things about it and what we are looking for it. We are looking for this one. So it looks like a vulnerable for CVE 2021-3560. Okay. So let me stop the link piece directly. And what we have to do, we'll already put it that um, over there. I think it's already available over here. It's CV203560. It's a Python file. I'll show you that um, from where you can get this directly. Okay. You simply have to go to this 
uh, section of the github and you can get this exploit okay you can get this exploit directly you can get it down load on your system and then you have to the simple http server you try to get it imported on a target machine and you can run it okay so as i can see that it's already been imported on my uh, temp folder itself so let me change the permission of cve okay and then what i'll do i'll just simply run with it python 3 and cve and run it we'll just wait for the output it will take some time you're getting couple of errors and everything like that and then finally you become a root now you can able to see the content of this okay so i'll explain you what exactly the thing we are doing it over here uh, so the first thing which we have to do it over here like you have to run the end map and by that we just came to know like port 22 port 80 and 443 are enabled over there on target machine uh, start with port 80 we'll just try to get it access there intercepting on our um, on our bob suit and by that we just came to know about uh, host in which you had to put it from us so we'll put that entry try to get it access on a browser directly and by that way uh, before proceeding further with it, we'll just we just uh, came to know about it. It's a WordPress, so we'll just run with the WP scan, and uh, we just came to know about the version of it. It looks like a wonderful version by which we can able to see the draft post also. So that we are using it, and by that way we just came to know about couple of things over there itself. And proceeding further with that, what exactly the thing we are doing it? Uh, we'll just try to get the details appropriately over there itself and we are getting there is a link of chat also so by that way we, when we try to get it access that we uh, we are getting a page of the register over there we just done with the registration from our side going inside of it and fraction of seconds we get the uh, pop-up and um, in a general category itself we just see the content out of it and then we just came to know about it there is a bot over there itself uh, we'll try to communicate with the bot as um, read only access is only over there itself so for the chat whatever the chat is over there for the general section then we'll try to communicate with the bot and we'll try to pass our commands and by the way we get the output from the uh, from the server itself using the bot so finally we get the credential dot env file itself we get the credential and we'll just try to use it um, with one of the user d with and by that way we get it login inside of it we'll get the user flag directly then what exactly so our um, base machine will try to import the lint piece and run it over there and we just came to know there's a cv is available over there itself then we'll try to figure out uh, for this cv is there any available exploit python file is available or any format of file is available or not we'll try to get it uh, download on a target machine and then execute it and in fraction of seconds we are become a root and then we can able to see the content of the root flag that's all about in this video Thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel if you like to uh, if you like to connect me you can connect me directly on linkedin the linkedin profile link i'll provide in the description section of this video and if you want to provide your feedback you can provide the feedback in the comment section of this video so thank you so much once again take care bye bye